This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. Hey guys, it's the awesome chat on Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters, coming at you live from uh, Pittsburgh, PA, in the Mayhem Studios. Uh, back in here and and of course this is the show where we try to uh, get a little deeper with uh, a, a lot of the companies a lot of the people doing cool things uh, around the area and abroad and we got a really fun one today but of course please go check out all the other interviews uh, awesomecast.net just go look up the awesome chat check out the Spreaker channel uh, look at look for us on iTunes on, on YouTube and all the past interviews a lot of great interviews we've been doing for almost a year now actually so we got a lot of them stacked up uh, we have with us uh, tonight a, a a winner of Startup we- Weekend Women's Edition. I think I got all the words in there of what that was. A, an event that a great event that I got to the opportunity to to help with the live stream of uh, several months ago. I love the Startup Weekends, but there was definitely a vibe that was uh, uh, I, I don't know. I can't really describe it. And hopefully, we can get a little bit in that discussion here today. Uh, but with me is Ellen Saxon of GoJing Go, one of the more interesting apps of the day. That was that was definitely had a lot of competition that weekend. How you doing? Hi, Mike. I'm well. Thanks for having me on. It's really exciting to be here, and it's such a great thing that you're doing. So uh, I'm good. We're good. We're chugging along at Go Jane Go. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, it'd be great to kind of get a little bit of an update here of what exactly is going on with you guys since Startup Weekend. And 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 and. But first, tell us what Go Jane Go is, and, and you know, what's the concept in general. Sure. Go Jane Go is a way for professional women on business travel to connect in real time. So this is a a, a social network uh, delivered via our app. And if you are traveling for business, um, you can land in your destination city, open up the GoJango app and see all of the other women in the GoJango network who are either traveling at the same time, who might be interested in grabbing a drink, having dinner, going for a run, going going to yoga class, Janes in the the local network. So if you're going to Chicago, for example, there may be lots of Janes who live in the area who aren't traveling, or there may be lots of Janes from other parts of the world who are coming to Chicago in the same time you are, who are looking for something to do besides have dinner with coworkers, hang out in your hotel room, order room service one more time. So this is a way to sort of harness the need that most of us saw uh, as professionals who travel for work. Uh, we thought we couldn't be the only ones who were sick of ordering room service or you know, <laughs> sick of going to the hotel bar and feeling awkward or uncomfortable or being approached by the wrong type of person. So we thought, let's, let's test that theory. And um, it turned out it, we, we gained some traction. And, and the win at, uh, at Startup Weekend sort of validated um, that thought. Certainly, and I'm I'm kind of a recent newbie uh, business traveler over the last uh, uh, several months myself, so I'm getting kind of my, my feet wet with this whole idea and being you know stuck in a hotel for several days and everything like that. Um, uh, you know, tell me a little bit more. You know, the the challenge with this, like like you know what you know why is this more important for women to have their own app for this instead of a general social network? So I'll use myself as, a, as an example. Um, used to travel a lot for work. My my sister, who's the co-founder, um, really the founder, was her idea. Um, she travels all the time, four to five days a week. And so from personal experience, you know, this one time I, I was in New York, I really wanted to run across that iconic Brooklyn Bridge. And, and I consider myself a confident, outgoing person, but there was that little just twinkle of, of fear and discomfort because I didn't know New York and I was by myself and I didn't know anyone. And the friends that I, that I usually, that I have are more in New England and the Boston area. And so there just wasn't anyone that I could call. And I really wanted to call. And I think call someone that was like me that had similar interests that would be willing to take a chance and, and, you know, go for a run with me. So whether we want to admit it or not, I mean, it's just a little different for women. There's a safety issue um, that women, often have to have to consider. And there's also just the sort of awkwardness or weirdness of going to to a bar, hotel bar, whatever, by yourself and sitting there. You know, I've become, you know, I've I've been approached, the the, the other three three women on the team have been approached um, by by a company that you just sometimes don't want. I mean, maybe you do want it sometimes, but maybe you don't sometimes. And so 
yes, this is why we think that uh, a network just for women is important. There's so many of us traveling for business now. Um, a lot of women in upper middle management and getting to the C-suite who are in charge now of uh, multiple business units. They have a lot to do and a lot of responsibilities. And we also have, in some cases, expense accounts uh, that we have to spend at um, you know, restaurants and think we'd be happy to have the upwardly mobile, educated, curious, uh, outgoing personalities that Go Jane Go is after. Awesome. Awesome. I, and, and of course, uh, you guys were part of uh, Startup Weekend Women's Edition, as I said at the top of the uh, top of the show. Um, tell me a little bit about that experience, because it was I, I've I've seen uh, a civic edition of this. I've seen the pitches for um, a, a standard startup weekend. Of course, this is an event that happens all around the world. I, I think there's practically one every weekend somewhere. Uh, yeah. The way that this, yeah. this 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 functions, go look up startup weekend. There's a lot of cool stuff. Um, what one? Well, first of all, have you attended one and or, or looked at them before? How did you find the startup weekend and, and decided to be part of it? So I've, I've sort of peripherally went to a startup weekend as a kind of coach before, but had had not thought about taking this idea to startup weekend. We were actually talking to a, an acquaintance and he said, this, this idea, did you, did you have any idea that the startup weekend in March is going to be all about, you know, it's the women's edition and trying to foster more entrepreneurship in the, the women's community in Pittsburgh. And we said, no, we had no idea. Boy, the timing's perfect. So that's what we decided to go. And uh, it was a great experience. It was um, a difficult experience. Um, I think apparently we're not alone in that halfway through we wanted to quit. <laughs> we got some some feedback that really made us question whether we, we could, could see this to the end, but we stuck it out. The coaches advised us to stay and really... So yeah, this Startup Weekend edition was, was, was women's edition, which we, um, you know, we're excited about um, what made it great was that we had our target market right there. So at least half of the you know market research we did audience. So that was really great. Um, we mined, of course, our own personal networks via LinkedIn and Facebook and some of our, our groups you know um, that were that were part of to get data. But the fact that we had our demographic at our fingertips was really helpful in validating the idea. And then just to have examples of women around who'd been there and done that before us at, at all levels. So other startups uh, in the early phases, we met some, you know, seed and series A startups, uh, women who've been through it. And we met some some successful, you know, post post IPO um, or post purchase women who had some, you know, even more poignant advice for us and how we structured our pitch and um, sort of validating the the approach that we had to, to revenue. So just, you know, all the resources that we needed were right there and our audience was there too. So we were really, really lucky that the timing worked out well for us there. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a great, great experience top to bottom. Difficult and worth every second. Mm -hmm. There seemed to be like so much more camaraderie, I, I, I felt like, like, um, it was really amazing um, when judges went back to to go make their decisions. There was um, a kind of a call to the microphone, and and there was kind of a "What did you get out of this weekend?" kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And yeah. and I hadn't I hadn't seen those at, at, at everything else. And 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 to see, um, it, it, do you think it, it's something I don't know some intangible thing about it being a women's edition? So it's a it, it's it, it's a for us kind of thing, or or it was just a great uh, mix of personalities. What do you, what do you think was was kind of the the factor there? I think it had to do most with leading by example. So the, the organizers were all incredibly enthusiastic. Um, and then we had, you know, Alana Diamond from Avalab Gear talked and she was super enthusiastic, super experienced, you know, saying she wished she had had this kind of opportunity. So I think we were riding a positive wave. And, you know, while I hate to call out the the gal card. I mean, maybe, maybe there is a sort of, of, you know, maybe slightly more nurturing atmosphere. I don't know. We, we felt like it was very competitive. Um, we felt the pressure. Um, we talked to some people, uh, who, you know, gave really critical advice, um, or critical feedback. So it was, there was discomfort. Um, and then there was also a swell of support. So I think it was it was um, both ways. But again, you know, Jackie and Brittany and, and Anne and, um, you know, just the, the whole team were so supportive. And like I said, we were ready to hang it up. 
um, on Saturday morning and they said, no, you know, you guys got to stick it out. You got a lot of votes and people, people think the idea is good. Just stick with it and, and see what happens. And so, you know, that kind of positive reinforcement obviously um, was helpful. Awesome. Awesome. We're showing a little bit of video of when you guys were announced uh, um, as, as uh, one of the winners uh, at the final pitches. Uh, so, and of course, you know, startups are, you know, startups, startups are difficult. You know, uh, not everybody that gets through this weekend and or wins or wherever the case may be gets through everything. And then we were talking about a little bit beforehand, like, you know, it's it's been kind of a slow process for you guys, right? Uh, what have you learned uh, uh, since then? Um, how are things going? So things are going really well on the one hand. We have a great team. Uh, so there were four of us all together, which was on the smaller side of the teams that were put together. And we were sort of disappointed about that. But in the end, it ended up being we feel like we we have the best team. Um, our personalities jive really well, which is pretty important. And we all have totally different skill sets, also important. So I think we we landed like um, I, 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 I wouldn't change a thing about that. So we have we have a good team. Um, the difficulty, you know, of course, with startups is three of the four of us have a full time job and the fourth is about to start a full time job. So mm -hmm. um, things are happening on evenings and weekends and early mornings. So, you know, I'm trying to squeeze that in with with little children and husbands and boyfriends and house purchases, you know, like there's life, too. So it has um, we, we had hoped to be a little farther along. Um, and the other, the other thing, too, is you get what you pay for. You know, we are bootstrapping this and we're being really careful about what we spend. Um, we're setting up a Kickstarter. We're doing friends and family rounds both here and in New Jersey uh, in the coming months. So we're doing what we need to do. I just think we're all so excited about it and we're getting a lot of traction that we want. We want to launch, you know, but um, we need to have our ducks in the row before we do that. So right. it's taking some time, but but all good things take time. I'm so I'm told. Awesome. Awesome. So, so for people looking to maybe get into, um, startup weekend, starting a company, uh, uh, you have any advice for them about going into that process? I think do it. First of all, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, there were some ideas that were, you know, that were, that were pretty baked. Like my sister and I had talked about this a couple of weeks beforehand. There were some ideas that came to the mic right there um, and they were chosen and got developed. So it doesn't really matter where you are and, and in your idea continuum or your company continuum to just do it. Um, I met two of the most incredible women there who are now part of our team. So you meet, you meet so many interesting people who can do so many great things um, the energy, you know, the energy carried us for at least three to four weeks. We were just riding that high and making connections. So it op it op completely opened up my world uh, in Pittsburgh to entrepreneurship. And I've been here a while and um, I've been meeting, you know, at least a couple new people a week who are supportive. So it really opens up um, the world that you're in um, when you can find so much support locally. Um, it tested my skills, too. You know, I'm I. I really got to see what I, what I you could, could use some work on. Um, and more than anything, it forces you to hone your idea completely. Um, all of the, all of the riffraff falls away and you're left with your core idea, your core competence. And that's what, um, you know, you pitch and have to validate. And that was incredibly helpful. I mean, it was brutal part, you know, parts of it, but we crammed weeks of work into a weekend, and that was really energizing and exhausting, but energizing mostly. Awesome. So awesome. do it. Anyone who's there, I can't <laughs> wait to do another one. As soon as as soon as Go Jane Go is in is in a good place, I want to do another startup weekend. We're already thinking of uh, new ideas, so it gets in your blood and you become sort of an addiction. <laughs> the, 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 the term serial entrepreneur is definitely something yeah. I hear a lot, and and I, yeah. I I think I think definitely like creatives get that they like okay I got to start a project I got to do something I got to make something new I got right. boom 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 and and and, and you're kind of it's the same process right? Yes, I feel that. So completely. Yeah. Well, I think, too, once you validate an idea, you start seeing ideas everywhere and they're no longer just ideas. They are possible. They're, you know? oppor so, they're opportunities. Yeah, they're real. They're opportunities. And, and you learn to start thinking, at least for me, I've learned that when I have an idea and I think, gosh, I'm really frustrated by something or I wish I had something. I know for a fact I'm I'm generally not the only person who feels that way. And and, and that is a marketable idea. You know, maybe that's a company someday. Mm -hmm. So, 
Awesome. Awesome. Uh, well, uh, if people want to find out uh, the progress as you guys are developing this idea, getting it uh, a, a little more structured, where can they find out more about you guys? So gojango.co is the website we're using right now. We're building our LinkedIn page because we are going to be pushing out um, free memberships in Gojango uh, for the rest of this year for people who come on board this year to help us vet the idea and start gaining traction. So if you go to the website and um, and you know keep checking there uh, and check via LinkedIn for Go Jane Go, you can uh, join our community. And then also um, you can always contact me, uh, E Saxon at gojanegoapp.com. Uh, I'm I'm there all day, all the time. So. I guess the, the bottom line is stay tuned. Uh, in the next uh, couple of weeks, we're going to finish our, our, our beta uh, for the app and start shopping it around and, and honing uh, its functionality. So we're, we're getting there. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Ellen, for joining us. Go check out GoJane Go. Uh, I can't wait to see uh, uh, what happens with it. It, 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 it. Again, it was just a weekend of... Uh, of uh i say very baked ideas i guess uh mm-hmm. it was uh, i was really blown away about uh how many great great uh concepts were presented there on the final pitch day uh as i was working it and uh and, and congratulations on rising above there uh and i uh, can't wait to see it thank you so much ellen and of course uh check out all the interviews on awesomecast.net look for the awesome chat on itunes google play podcast stitcher spreaker and uh, wherever you can find podcasts of course youtube and the awesome cast uh facebook page where we do live videos and we post these as well uh share the show if you like it or you can check us out on patreon patreon.com slash awesome cast if you want to contribute to help make this thing bigger thank you so much to those that do and uh we'll see you guys next time thank you so much to my awesome guest you have been our awesome audience Audience. Have an awesome week. <laughs> Thank you. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.